Hey everybody, it's Joel Woodard back with you for another painting log video. It's just about 24 hours since I worked and recorded last, so I guess I didn't need to be superstitious after all. <laughs> I don't have too much to say right now before I get into it, but I do want to talk a little bit about what I'm going to do. While I was getting ready, I was thinking about how much I really am into the simplicity of this piece um, more so than the others. Even back right at the beginning, I was really into the simplicity of it. So there isn't too much more I'm going to add to this. I really like this big gray bold shape right here in the middle. These other shapes down here I'm really into. So I'm really going to be cautious not to lose that. You know, whatever else I put on top of this, I really want it to service what's already there. What I did was a gouache drawing today. Actually, I started it yesterday. I finished it this morning. And I think it's going to aid me a lot in um, getting, this, getting this one done. So yeah, I'm just going to get into it. And I'll describe it more as, uh, as we go along. And hopefully, I'm going to like it. <laughs> Just one more thing about uh, simplicity and uh, kind of leaving things as they are. When it comes to art, I do have like a serious work ethic. I feel like I need to put in a certain amount of time and materials into a work. And as much as I like it right now, I know I need to put more into it. There's... There's more that needs to happen. And like I said, I'm hoping to retain that simplicity, but I can't just leave it like this as much as I might want to. All right, I'm going to get into it, and we'll see what happens. Okay, so what I've done here is add this uh, band across the uh, bottom third of it. I uh, tried a few different uh, color ideas. It, it's basically a muted color, but I put some yellow in there thinking that three or four different shades and different temperatures of this muted color would work for that shape but it wasn't really working for me. It was just serving to add noise to that shape. I just came back to the original idea of simplicity for this. So what I went with was that base muted color. I brushed a, t a tint of the Diox purple through it, and then I added uh, these lines here that is the Diox purple and Mars yellow. I'm happy with that. I don't think I'm gonna mess with that. So what's gonna happen next is I'm going to add this, uh, this top shape up here that's gonna be linear. It's basically just gonna be a line drawing so you can see what's underneath this still. After I do that, I might add some kind of middle piece to to unify the two things. I'm not quite sure what that'll be yet. It'll definitely be something because I don't I don't want it to look like two stark shapes going on with this, you know. That and that, you know. Like I've said before in these videos, you know, I want unity and cohesion with all this uh mixture of shapes and gesture and uh, brush strokes. So, all right, I'm gonna do that and uh, see what it looks like. Okay, so what I've done is I've added this outline of a shape up here. I added some of these purple hatch marks inside of it. 
this outer outline shape uh, started out just that simple muted color of Mars yellow and Diax purple, but I needed to, I guess I needed to make it a little more messy. <laughs> so I had my Cad Yellow Dark, dragged some of that through in there, and then I just decided to add some of the uh, Diox Purple straight. I think I'm liking it. I think I need to consider this an experiment. The experiment is going to be, can I just leave it alone like this? At the beginning, I was talking about the simplicity of the whole thing, and I'm just I'm at that point now where it's a crossroads. I can keep going and completely lose what I was hoping to retain at the beginning of this, or I can just leave it alone, not feeling completely satisfied with it being finished. I, I don't know if it's finished, but, uh, you know, Picasso will tell you art is never finished, right? But whatever. I'm just going to confuse myself and uh, get my, give myself an anxiety attack trying to live up to Picasso. I think I'm going to leave it alone. I think I'm just going to live with it for a little bit. Might w work with it a little more. I might not. We'll just see. We'll see what happens. I am liking the saturation of those hatch marks up there. Brings your eye up there, but it's not so powerful that you're not noticing the rest of what's going on in this. Yeah, okay. So I'm just going to live with this for a little bit. Another short session. I guess that's a good thing. If I leave this the way it is, um, I only have one more to, to complete for this series. And after that, like I said in the last video, I have that big painting to uh, finish up. I have another large painting out in the garage. You know, I, I intend to film my experience with those as well. We're getting on. It's, uh, the, uh, it's the inevitable motion of progress, so. Okay, so thanks for liking, appreciate it. Uh, leave some comments if you uh, if you would if you want to know more about this get a conversation going if you have any questions about how I work what I work with why I do what I do <laughs> I would uh, I would love to answer all those questions in the meantime thanks for watching and I'll see you next time bye